So I received this question last week in regards to how I edit in Premiere because when I showed one of my tutorials the user noticed I had a bunch of different sequences open um, and I have a project file open right now of my new cartoon A Voyager the Seiki Truth and if you want to check that out you can go to the Trop Group and Films channel and certainly do that and I would really appreciate any views, likes, or shares you could do with that. But anyway, what I have done here is created a project that has multiple sequences. Now, what a sequence is in Premiere is simply just a, I would say, a blank timeline. Um, it's almost as if you're working with multiple project files if you were, for instance, working with Anime Studio or Flash, since a lot of my subscribers work with those software, they probably know what that is. But with my editing, what I usually do is I go through and every scene I put into a sequence. So for my first scene here, we have the captain and she's walking and she sees the commotion going on and she gets mad and then that's the end of the sequence. And then the next sequence is on the bridge where I have all this going on. And then when it ends, you know, with the bridge, then we go to the next sequence and so on. So the question then becomes, how do you get all this together? So you have all these sequences, they're all split up. How do you get them together? Well, once I have edited all of my sequences, what I do is I make another sequence, surprise, huh, called the main sequence. And you can see it's right here. And what I have done here then is simply put my sequences <laughs> into the sequence. So for instance, let's say, of course, the hallway sequence comes first. Well, I can go into my messy uh, file browser here because I obviously um, haven't really been keeping up with it and I can locate that sequence and then I can just bring it in like that and now we can watch the sequence play out and then we can go to the next scene and so on now the good thing about this method is yes you could go into the hallway sequence make a video and then import that video into your bin and then import the video onto your scene. But the good thing about this is if I make any changes on the sequence, let's say for instance, I don't want the sound effect in there, I remove that or I trim up the sequence or I change the filter or whatever, it will automatically reflect that on the sequence that you put into your main sequence. So it's a really nice way to be able to control things and to be able to work on multiple clips and then just combine them all at the end. Now there's some people out there who like to work with just one sequence and they put all their stuff onto that sequence and they chop and they trim and they you know do everything on there um, just one sequence and that is completely fine. Um, this is just my method or one of my methods and I thought I would share. And the other good thing about this method is in the case of this series I have the series taking place on a ship and so I have some like space noises going on you hear like just like a low roaring going on in the background with the spaceship well once I have all the sequences put together I can then put the, those sound effects uh, like for instance the spaceship engine room sound effect and just keep repeating it then throughout all my clips to um, so that it doesn't you know sound like it got cut or anything like that and of course you could do that if you're just doing everything on one sequence but I like to break things down into little pieces and that's kind of why I do it this way but of course you can choose your own way this is just one way to do it anyway thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time